our working relationship with Rucker, I would say, is pretty phenomenal. We did uh, the first wind project out of Rucker, the first towers they ever had there, we hauled out. So it started, I think it was back in 2010. We've kind of done it before, but nothing this big. Our function there was uh, to transport uh, 23 components from Rucker Terminal in Baltimore to Kaiser, West Virginia to the Black Rock job. So we had the th three sets of blades per tower. Each of them were roughly 50,000 pounds. And then we had the nacelle that uh, was like 140,000 pounds. We had the hub, which was about 80,000 pounds. And then we had six tower sections. There was a base, a mid one, mid two, a mid three, a mid four, and a top. The nacelle is the piece that uh, sits all the way on top of the tower. The hub connects to it along with the blades. I calculated it up as roughly 350 loads that we hauled out of Rutgers. Uh, we did it all within like two months, so there was a lot going on in those two months. The blades were so long, we couldn't make it out of the port driving out. So we actually had to back every single blade out of the port. This was the first time we, in the dark, backed loaded trucks out of the port. Uh, most times, we don't travel at night. Uh, being that we're coming out of Baltimore, the city, made us come out at those times to meet the restrictions and requirements. Each truck's equipped with a CB radio to communicate back and forth, especially coming out in the dark every morning, would stand out in front of the truck and let them know any obstacles, kind of help the driver out. In the back there, each blade trailer had three axles. They were all steerable. They had a, the remote with a motor on the back of the trailer to steer them. We have the ability to steer right from your pickup. And then the guy in the back would keep the trailer in the middle of the middle of the lane that he needed to to back out of there. And then the driver would keep his truck there. And the three of us every morning, we manipulate the truck and trailer to get it out of there safely and continue on. We backed every blade up Clinton Street something that's 260 feet long in the dark that can, uh, a lot of bad things could happen. So coming out of the port, we, we would steer it all the way back and then steer it around that first corner there and on to 95. When we came out onto the highway, we had the three city uh, police officers along with uh, one Maryland State Police escort as well. All together, there was a lot of flashing lights coming out of the port in the morning, that was, that was for sure. They took us, once we got on 95, they, um, they came off the next exit there and we just went with the state trooper the, the rest of the way until we reached the West Virginia line. If you were just driving, if you left, the port and uh, headed out to the job site. It was roughly three hours. The blades, uh, they could make it out there between seven and nine hours. I know many people don't don't like us on the road, um, but at the end of the day, they want to be green. I think if everybody had a little more knowledge of you know the weight, length, and all the obstacles it takes to complete this, they won't get as upset. But you know, everyone's in a hurry, and us driving 30 mile an hour in uh, a 55 or 65 at really gets them upset, but other than that, it's pretty awesome. Yeah, these uh, components are the largest loads uh, out of the highway. The teamwork that was involved was, was a lot lot of pieces that made it all work together, you know. You know, we dealt with uh, the Maryland SHA, which is the State Highway Administration. You have the Baltimore City that we had to deal with. We had the Maryland State Police that we also had to deal with, along with Rucker. So it was just just great, great experience for all of our guys. Just showed teamwork really makes makes things easy.